Welcome to the Elevate Media Podcast with your host, Chris Anderson. In this show, Chris and his guests will share their knowledge and experience on how to go from zero to successful entrepreneur. They have built their businesses from scratch and are now ready to give back to those who are just starting. Let's get ready to learn, grow, and elevate our businesses. And now your host, Chris Anderson. Welcome back to another recording of the Elevate Media Podcast. I'm Chris Anderson, your host. And today we're going to talk about marketing. And again, right? A lot of things in business have to do with marketing, getting leads, closing leads, selling, all this stuff comes down to marketing. But we want to take a little bit of a different approach today because we've talked about ads before. We've talked about, you know, cold outreach, things like that. But how do we break through the noise? How do we get the attention of maybe those bigger fish that we're trying to, to hook, line, and, and sinker in here? So uh, we brought on Daniel Dan today. Daniel is a marketing genius uh, and also sales genius. For, he's been doing about two decades. Um, he's co-creator of X Factor Effect Methodology, where his, him and his team have helped over 20,000 students, students and clients grow their businesses. He also teaches that difference is the new better. And his framework includes nine pillars of differentiating your business so that you can become a market leader or category king or queen. And for several years, uh, they also was able to travel the world with his wife and four kids uh, until they finally had settled down in Florida. He's also the author of a new book, The Ideas That Influence, and it was built to help business owners discover their own wildly successful marketing ideas. And he also sent me this box. Uh, as a, Hey, can I be on your show? I want to show you what we're about. And it's, it's all his ideas that influence an interactive box book box experience with his book in it. Uh, and it was fantastic. So Daniel, after that intro, man, I, I think we can call it. We're, we're good now, but welcome to the Me podcast, man. Hey, Chris Anderson. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be, be here. Uh, the elevate media podcast with the elevate media group. People love your podcast, Chris. I re- I, mean, I was talking about it right before the show, like the structure where you do like a couple and you're talking about all these really cool insights. And then like every third episode, you're bringing on a guest. People are absolutely loving it. Congratulations. 300 and is this the 390? I don't know. Fit level? I don't know. Like uh, it's, it's crazy. Like we, we, we are just launching this coming uh, Monday. No. This Monday was our 390th episode coming out. So, I love 391. Yeah, man, we're it's just crazy how many oh. from where we start. So I appreciate the kind words on the show for sure. I, I hope. Yeah, all since 2021, man, kicking butt, taking names, and now you're about to start traveling around even more. Yep, which is exciting. Going around. Uh, you said like Vegas and Texas and all these different places with your video marketing agency. Yeah. Man, you know what? I love, I love when we can like align our business mm-hmm. with like really fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but, cool. And that's the thing, you know, and that's a lot of people you need to think about too, because a lot of times we think about big picture of our journey, you know, and every time we think of it, it's like a new thing in the future. But I was telling you before the show, like, that was something I wanted. Like I wanted a business that I could, you know, travel and see more of the world. And, you know, just saying it when we were talking, like made me remember, like, that's what I wanted when I first started. Like that was a piece, a goal I wanted to hit and we're doing it. And I almost just glazed over, uh, that fact. Um, and so like, you know, maybe I'll, tonight I'll celebrate because I haven't celebrated that small wind of being able to travel now with the agency. And, uh, we got to remember that, remember the goals we set. And when we hit them, you know, when our prayers are answered, make sure you're like, oh yeah, wow, that one was answered. That's awesome. As you're continuing to the next goal. So yeah, celebrate, celebrate and then fly me out. And I can help. <laughs> there we go. Do it. That's <laughs> awesome. But yeah, man, no, I'm excited. And again, this is, this is a crazy, I've never uh, gotten anything like this, like a marketing tool. Like literally this was in a box with a, a mug and um, some other things. And Batman's, uh, he gave me some cool information. Batman sent me some information on other clients and things. It was, it was I mean, you put a lot of work and effort into this. Like what made you go with this kind of path with your mark, like with this book in the box and everything like that? Yeah. So everything we do, it's, 
called the X Factor Effect Methodology. You mentioned it. We've got nine different pillars. It's all about breaking through the noise. And in 2024, to break through the noise, you have to do things different, but not just different for the sake of being different. You have to do things differently in a way that your dream customers love. So I could be like different just to be different. Like I could be like, hey, I'm going to open up a restaurant and I'm going to start serving like ice cream on top of spaghetti with, you know, meat sauce. And um, (laughs) now I don't know about you, but when I said ice cream with spaghetti and then pouring meat sauce on top of it, I I went from like, oh, ice cream's interesting to, oh man, that's nasty. Like, what are you talking about now? Theoretically, like that's something different, yep. right? But it's not something different that falls into the paradigm of something different that your dream customers will love. So we play in the realm of let's do things wildly different yep. in a way that breaks through the noise, but let's verify before we launch it and spend all this money on it um, that it's something that our dream customers are going to love. And so... What I did with the box was I had this epiphany in a mastermind in Mexico talking about traveling. Uh, And I was sitting next to, I was sitting next to, um, uh, to the right of me. If you know, Josh and Ashley Latimer, I was sitting next to them, amazing couple. And uh, they were talking about their kid journal called the kid word plan. And they were, and I have one here and it's amazing. And, uh, people absolutely love it because it's different. Oh, cool. yeah. And so it's this kid entrepreneurial journal. I'm like, oh, yeah, people love it. And it sells like crazy because it's different. And then I was also sitting um, at the same table with my friend Mark Stern. And he owns an agency called Custom Box Agency. And he's all talking about how, like, with the this concept of these boxes, it's a way to stand out. And he was telling me all these different stories about how some of his clients – have kind of doubled their conversion rates, which is a big deal in 2024 to be able to just double your conversion rates. And I was like, this is absolutely insane. And this was right around the time when um, I had fit, I was like finishing the editing process for ideas that influence, which is pretty much um, like the coolest thing I've ever created was this book. And I was like, this is amazing. And my editor was like, this is amazing. People are going to absolutely love it. And then I had this realization. Am I going to launch my book just like everybody else? Am I going to fall into the trap of the sea of sameness? Am I going to launch like everybody else launches? Which the plan was I was just going to do a free plus shipping book. Okay. But how many free plus shipping books are there in 2024? Yeah. There are a lot of free plus shipping books. Now, back in 2015, it, which I believe is right when Russell Brunson launched Dot Com Secrets and did it as a free plus shipping book. Okay. That was a really unique concept. So 2015 free plus shipping book, incredible idea, differentiated idea. Wow, this is amazing. But 2024, wow, not so much. Yeah. Oh, another free plus shipping book. Which, it still works. Don't get me wrong. Right. But I'm like, all right, so I got to do something different. I We are the X Factor people. We got to break through the noise. And we've helped 20,000 students and clients. We, we have to break through the noise ourselves. Yeah. So the idea was, I'm going to launch the very first ever free plus shipping interactive book box experience, where it's a free plus shipping book plus an entire box experience. And so, as you know, Chris... The box comes with five experience envelopes yep. that people open at certain times during the book, and they get access to different tools and gifts and presents, which we <laughs> all love. Yep. The, whole, the whole box experience is kind of like opening multiple presents for yourself, but absolutely it has everything to do with marketing. And uh, I be- I verified it with my my dream customers i said hey this is what i'm thinking about doing what do you think and then of course everybody was like dude like that's the coolest thing ever you have to do it so yeah that's awesome and i think that's a good point too is to verify with that but you know say you're going after people these these big fish who are maybe they got some gatekeepers like how do you how do you verify within those kind of markets uh do you i mean do you ask the gatekeepers like are they gonna know 
necessarily, or how do you go about verifying that? Well, when it comes to it, you're asking if this, how easily this type of product, if you send it out to somebody, gets through the gate, gatekeepers. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Like the success rate of getting a big box like this through the gatekeepers is around 100%. Okay. Um, now, of course, it's not 100%, but it's, it's you know, it's it's approaching 100%. Yeah. But do you, do you verify the idea of it with maybe someone in the same position, but maybe not as hard to talk to, I guess? Is that kind of one of, because you know, uh, like, if, I'm trying to, if I'm trying to pitch this, this is, oh, I'm not, yeah. I'm trying to pitch the CEO of Apple, the CEO of, you know, whatever, five guys, like the yeah. likelihood of me talking it to them are pretty low. Just right. It's saying, hey, you know, do you think this idea is good? So, like, how do you verify an idea that are that are geared towards that level of C suite? I guess. Yeah, the best way for me personally, where I said, okay, I have enough faith to move forward with something like this, where like this can grab the attention of the you know the the, the top one percent of my dream customers, the, yeah. the the whales, right? Yeah. Um. So I. I'm addicted to listening to listening to old Dan Kennedy trainings. Okay. And he actually had in one of his trainings, don't don't ask me which one, because he has like two hundred different courses. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but he talks about how to how to catch a whale. Like that, that that's like I don't I, I don't know. Maybe that's even the name of it. Like how how to how to catch a whale. Like how to catch the whales. Uh-huh. And and he mathematically goes through and he's like, you know. Inside of your industry, you know, the top 1%, the ha- biggest earners, like they're worth this amount. And, you know, some of them are, you know, more than multi-millionaires that they have, you know, they're doing hundreds of millions of dollars. Some of them are billionaires. And so he's talking about how to catch a whale. And, he, and in this specific training, he once again talked about the concept of a shock and awe package. Now, he goes into the psychology of why when people receive a box, And this is where I was like, oh, like this works for anybody. Now, the psychology of a of a box, it goes back for you and I, Chris, and everybody else that's listening to how we got excited as kids when Christmas came around. Right. All these boxes and these bread, they're wrapped up, and we just would get so excited. In fact, I mean, I remember personally, like I would lay next to the Christmas tree for weeks and like, you know, I'd pick something up and I would right. analyze it. And for weeks, I'm like wanting to open this box. Mm-hmm. And then he talked, I mean, and Dan Kennedy's talking and he's like, and that's why and this, this was the kicker. And that's why unboxing videos on YouTube go viral. And I was like, Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Why unboxing videos go viral because the brain is tricked into that same feeling of opening a present. And so any box you send through that's big enough in size, (laughs) like those CEOs or whoever it is you're trying to land, those whales, they're all going to tell the gatekeepers, hey, you know, any box, just go ahead and send it right through because I love opening my boxes. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. And I think, so then it goes back to like, so this is, I, I love this idea. And like, we've been trying to toy around with the idea of doing this as well with some bigger clients. But the the idea, like, so what, like, what is it? Like, what could set you apart? Like, I mean, obviously you could send a book with a letter or something. You can, um, you know, I think Chet Holmes in his book said he sent um, Rubik's cubes or something to his his targets and was like, "Let's help you um, break the code or break the puzzle, or like figure out the puzzle of your marketing or whatever it was, something like that." Like, like it's just being creative, but also within the budget, right? As well, because it's right. expensive. So, like, how do you come up with the good ideas that that hit? Obviously, trial and error, some, but you know, do you have a process on picking ideas that could could work to get people's attention. You love listening to podcasts, but have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? Maybe you want to build a brand, grow your business, or are looking for an excuse to talk about your favorite hobby. 
Whatever your reason for making a podcast, Buzzsprout is the place to start. Since 2009, Buzzsprout has helped over 300,000 people launch their own podcasts. Buzzsprout walks you step-by-step -step through the whole process and will give you powerful tools to start, grow, and monetize your podcast. Ready to get started? Click the link in the show notes to get our free step-by-step -step guide to starting your podcast today. Uh, yeah, 100%. So um, when it comes to specifically, like, ideas that influence, like, in marketing messages, we have our methodology, we talk about it in the book, we can dive into those seven elements. When it comes specifically to the box concept, um, to be honest with you, I've heard of very few failure stories when it comes to sending this type of thing. Yeah. Um, and then when it comes to what I would do for a video marketing agency, um, so one of the things that I want to try out soon as a, as a follow up and in, in my funnel is you know you know when you send uh, uh, when people it's a, a small box and I have one and I, and I and for some reason I'm this oh here it is actually, actually this is this is Barry uh, for two of this okay. Yeah. So I, I received these, and um, and so when you open them, uh, it starts playing a video. Yeah. Kate, here with the video box. Oh, there you go. Yep. Daniel, Caleb here with the video box company, and this is what they sent to me. I paid, I paid for that, and they sent it as an example. That's a very simple way to break through the noise and catch attention. If I remember correctly, when I was quoted, like on the cost of these, I think you can get them out for, I think your car, hard, it's the hard cost is like 10 bucks a piece plus shipping, which yeah. is, which is pretty good. So if, if you've got a, a list of a hundred people yeah. and you do a hundred personalized messages just like that, people think that this is so cool that they show it off. In fact, once again, I'm showing this off. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even my thing. So, right. Anyway, so Caleb with the Video Bots Agency, you're welcome. You are. <laughs> <laughs> That's something like we've looked at. We've actually looked. I think we've looked at his company um, to do something like that. We know we. So our our agency, we also have an arm that uh, uh, that does weddings. Um, as mm -hmm. Wedding all the way through real estate to business to video podcasts in our agency, and we'll, we have a custom book like that. Uh, that we just give the couples for free that plays their wedding video. Um, and we present it at like when they go to, tra uh, to not trade shows, but the bridal expos and things, the team yeah. will show. Them. And so they're like, Oh my, the brides are like, Oh, that's so cute. And they're like, yeah, you get this for free. So we, we've, we've implemented that within our, I guess our pitch, um, when we're, when we're at those things. But yeah, I love, like you just bring like, <laughs> because you know, hard direct mail used to be the thing. Right. Um, and now you don't get it so often. Yeah. Uh, so when you get a box, like you said, it's like, oh my goodness, like I want to see what, like when I got yours, like I knew it was coming and I was still like super pumped because like, yeah, I didn't know what exactly was going to be in it. So, um, when it comes to the value of the attention, I, I don't, uh, since you're a video marketing agency, you've probably die, you, you have probably dived into metrics where like you see what like the conversion rates are from the people that have completed watching the videos. Right. And, what happens when you send out uh, these types of boxes, one of the biggest benefits is that you get a really high consumption rate. So I've sent this out as this box as gifts to people that have told me, so they didn't even buy it. Like I have, I have buyers too. You can go to bigideasbox.com and you can buy one and I'll ship you one out. It's free plus shipping. That was what I was tell, telling you the whole story is my, I had the first free plus shipping interactive book box experience. But me sending this as a gift to people, I've had people that I sent it as a gift to them and they read the whole book and went through all the envelopes. And like, this is that it's like the consumption rate is just through the roof. Yeah. And if you look at the value per, per completion with whatever that you, what, what, whatever you're trying to sell, for example, if you had a one hour webinar mm. and if your box for, the people that you're trying to get to sign up for your wedding videography services, if it had included a one hour webinar link that you, that's the call to action, go watch the 
well, go watch the video, go watch the video, go watch the video. They're receiving the gift. I don't know. Maybe it's got, you know, those fun white chocolate popcorn balls right. inside of the gift. And then it's got, you know, a couple flowers and then it's got the call to action to go watch the video. And then it has, you know, a little portfolio of some of your work. Maybe that's your shock and awe for these individuals looking to have a wedding videographer come out. And then if you start tracking, you'll likely see that out of a hundred that you're sending out, like more than half of these people are like watching this entire one hour sales pitch. Right. Yeah. And then when people watch this whole pitch, lots of times it means what they, they end up turning into a buyer. And so it's the consumption rate that just goes through the the roof. And then that's the reason why this strategy with these shock and awe packages works so well. Yeah. Um, I'll give you one one last real statistic to get people fired up. This is a cool one. This is a really cool statistic. So from my buyers, I tracked my first buyers from the box because without me asking, I started to get all these unboxing videos uh, on social media and really positive comments on social media. And I was like, oh, I'm so, this is exciting. This is amazing. But it was almost like, unbelievable how many I was getting. So I tracked it and I figured out out of all of my buyers, more than a third. So more than one out of three buyers posted about the box on social media in some way, shape or form praising it. Now, if you have a product or service that you're selling and more than a third of your buyers are posting about how great it is on social media, then you've hit a home run. You've in 2024, you've hit a you know, a triple grand slam. That is unheard of in 2024, right? Yeah, and that that is huge. And so, like, I, I wonder with that too. So, you know, you you sent this box out. It's, it gets to the person that it's meant to go to. They they've seen it. Is the process in? And you mentioned a little bit. Have a call to action within that that sends them somewhere else so you can track it. Do you follow up with another physical item or is it now they're in the funnel digitally online? Is that, is that the process or do you have that another physical thing that goes out if they don't, you know, however, whatever the cadence is? Yes. The plan is to have all of that. And the truth is that this box was recently launched uh, this year. Uh (laughs) Right. And so, and so I plan, uh, like with, with these, these video boxes, I was like, well, what if my, you know, set, so the best thing to do, like if you're trying to get the attention of your dream customer, yeah. this is a standard process from, for the shock and awe packages. First, you send out a postcard because you want to see how many postcards come back. If a postcard card gets sent back to you, then you don't want to spend all the money to send them a box if the box is just going to get sent back to you. So you usually start with one postcard or maybe two, letting them know that something special is coming. Okay. So it's, it's it's like, Hey, we got something special, like a free, like we're sending it to you. Right. That's one way to do it. Okay. And then, and then, you know, mailing number three would be your shock and awe package. And then mailing number four, five, and six, and possibly seven would be a mix of some, maybe maybe other little smaller lumpy mail items Mm -hmm. and or postcards as well. Cause it's really, it's really cheap to send out postcards. Yeah. (laughs) But but they, but people like they, they, they see it, they see it and they remember, Oh yeah, that's right. You know, Chris, he sent me this really cool package in the mail. So, and, and he's reminding me one more time to schedule the consultation or whatever it is. For sure. No, that's awesome. And I think it's good to have it planned out. And I love the idea of sending the postcard first to, to validate the the address and, and all that as well. Because obviously, you know, everyone has budgets and we want to make sure we're not just wasting money, throwing money away to an address that doesn't, doesn't work or doesn't get to the person. So I think that's a huge saying, um, you know, and it, 
you know, is there is there something that you see within these like call to action, like we talked about after the shock and all? Obviously, there's a bunch of ideas you can do for the physical product. Just kind of be creative within your market um, and tailor it to your, you know, that ideal person. But the next steps, you know, you get them <clears throat> called action. Maybe it's a webinar. Maybe it's a, a quiz. Maybe do you see something in the markets today in 2024 that is a better call to action than maybe we've seen in the past? Um, you know, going to a video, taking a quiz, you know, it used to be when I, back in 2020, not even that long ago was, oh, for ebook. And now I feel like that's kind of been overdone. Is there a good call to action that, that more people actually take action on nowadays? Um, conceptually. So if uh, Chris, you've probably heard people talk about the analogy of the emotional bank account. Yeah. And once, once you fill the emotional bank account high enough, then you can go for an ask. If I send out this box to you, I mean, this is, it's like, it's obvious, like it costs me a lot of money to send this to you. Absolutely. Yeah. Almost immediately, the emotional bank account is full. So the most common call to action, specifically with a shock and awe package, is to book a call. You want that one-on-one sales opportunity. Yeah. You um, Now, that, the on the flip side, and not to con confuse everybody in the digital marketing world quizzes work like gangbusters where on facebook instagram even google like the quiz strategy works really well for lead gen yep and for generating sales as well because you are taking them through the quiz and then having your call to action afterwards for them to get their results and then take whatever other action that you want the quiz partially is filling the emotional bank account if that makes sense yeah. you're giving people information about themselves through the quiz you're doing them a favor by presenting discoverables to them through the quiz process that's why quizzes work well because inherently somebody sees oh look i can take the quiz so i can discover something that I need or that I can discover something about myself. So it's, in, there's something in it for them to start taking the quiz and then for them to get their results, there's the call to action. And then you get your win back. This is different. This is direct mail, yep. um, specific, okay. you know, or if, uh, you were at a home show and you were marketing or a bridal show, and you were marketing your bridal services. Anybody that dropped their name into uh, your giveaway, mm -hmm. you're sending out this direct mail piece too, because now you have your their address. You know that they're planning on getting married soon. You know that they are interested in a videographer. They haven't called you back up yet, but they're a potential buyer because right. they're the type of person that goes to bridal shows, which is a great buyer, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> right. The type of person that's paying money, an entrance fee to go into a bridal show is a, a buyer yeah. is a buyer is a buyer as Dan Kennedy always did. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I think, and that, no, I think it's a good, good point. And, you know, again, I love it. Like this has been, and I've got to dive even more to your book and I want to, uh, because yeah, we're really, we're tr really trying to cut through the noise and be different as a video agency as well on the business side, corporate side. Cause on that side, we do video podcasts, uh, brand story, promo videos, things like that. And we want to do retainers with social media, more retainers with social media content and videos and things like that. So like scoping out, you know, and a lot of it is in the skilled trades and then like, uh, consulting those kind of two worlds. So, you know, how can we break through into some of these bigger businesses, um, that maybe don't have video. And so like, how can we get the open door? And so, um, yeah, I, 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 go ahead around with this stuff. You're going to be a very busy video agency very fast. <laughs> yeah. And it's like a, an idea just literally just popped in my head. So you guys get to get to hear this firsthand. Well, let's go so trades. Like if I, if we were doing a roofing company, we were pitching to them, we could, we could send them like a hammer with like a, a box, maybe not a glass box, but something I'm like, let's break through the noise on social media with video and they can break, 
to open or something. Uh, have, well, have, have like something inside, like a gold piece of gold or something. Like let's break through social media. Yeah, I don't know. That was just popped in my head. Well, that reminded me that there 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 was wow, what was it? There was a a monthly box subscription where like you would like hammer to open the 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 monthly oh, thing. Okay. I like I remember something like that. I forget. I forget what it was called. I'm, they're probably still around. It was create, create joy or something. Create something. Create. Yeah. I remember something right. like that. But yeah, that just popped in my head. I was just trying to think, like, it's like industry specific a little bit. Plus, I, I mean, people like to break stuff when they can, right? <laughs> and so I, I feel like that'd be memorable. Like, let's break through on social media with video content. Um, and it kind of plays together. Yeah. Like now at the, at the bridal show, we were going to do, um, let us take the stress out of hiring a videographer and we're going to have a massage therapist there doing chair massages um, for the brides as they came around to really break the noise. But the night before the massage place said, Hey, we're not actually going to be able to send anybody out. Uh, well, I won't tell the name of the massage place because it's <laughs> irritating. Uh, so we had a, we had to redo the whole marketing of the event. Oh, I, or I think that team was up to like, and I was up to like three with them, like trying to figure this out. So, Oh, cool. oh, come on, Chris. Extreme, well, extreme ownership. You needed to stay up all night and learn how to become a masseuse. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. So we had a pivot, which is something else. Get the learn. <laughs> learn the pivot. Uh, and so was it. But yeah, so we were kind of, kind of, and, and I actually got that idea from, not directly from, but Chet Holmes. Actually might have been a direct idea he had in his book, The Ultimate Sales Machine. But yeah, just, you know, because at these trade shows in business, like we're talking about, you've got to break through the noise. You've got to do something different that, that aligns, that, you know, fits with what your uh, target audience wants and will use, uh, but sets you apart and makes you memorable. And I think that's that's the biggest thing. So how can you do that within your budget? Yeah. And there, there's some really easy ways to do it as well. Yeah. Um, so we, we don't want people to break the bank. Right. But, I mean, mathematically, though, if you're selling something high ticket, yep. so for example, um, let's say you do the the simplified idea of these shock and awe packages and you do the video boxes. Yep. The math on that is what? Well, if I send out to 100 brides sure. right, or potential, you know, future future brides, so 100 and let's say it costs me 15 each, 100 times 15 is one thousand five hundred right? Yep. So I land one. Yep. You're covered. One out of a hundred, and I've paid yeah. for all the boxes. And then yep. if I land five, I'm, you know, I've 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 hit a, I've hit a grand slam. We can yep. do this all day, every day, yeah. and be the most famous wedding videographers around, right? Yeah. So yeah, I and yeah, I think that's great. And and you could be creative without breaking the bank as well. And yeah, I, I just love these ideas of being creative and, and breaking through. So this would would there be anything else that you would that we haven't hit on today that you'd want people to know about this kind of methodology um with the ideas that influence as we round out the episode? Yeah, there's some really there there are some really cheap um, ways that we can, you know, break through the noise, give people experiences. Um, I, mm-hmm. I, I remember, um, I forget the name of the book, Fascinate or something like that. And the, the, the name of the, uh, the, the author, but she, she talked about a bubble par- parade at the hospital. Oh, nice. Um, and so the bubble par- parade concept that she, she, oh, here we go. I found it. I found it. Here we go. The book is so Sally Hogshead. Yeah, I knew, I knew that Sally Hogshead. So here's her quick story. So this this just goes to to prove that there are free ways to break through the noise and to absolutely delight your dream customers. So she said um, in in her book, uh, I had a magical customer experience. My daughter Azalea had minor surgery. Everything turned out just fine, but. Ahead of time, she was a little nervous. Specifically, she was concerned about being wheeled away from me into the operating room. Mm. To ease her fears, the pediatric nurses created a bubble parade. 
by blowing little soap bubbles from <laughs> a wand as she went into the OR wow. immediately. Uh, as she went into the OR immediately, Azalea smiled and forgot to be afraid. I just witnessed my daughter's customer experience switch from anxiety to yep. anticipation in less than 10 seconds. That's all. Awesome. So there you go. That's like a, like a, something free that like. like it's, it's so true. The experience. Like if you can, I always tell like it's the experience that people want. Like, because uh, they can get all the information. But if you can create the experience and make it different, that's like, why do you go to. Uh, Lambert's you know, it's a restaurant out here in the Midwest, at least, because they throw rolls at you. It's the experience. They like, throw rolls? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. You, like, catch rolls. It's like, like <laughs> why do you go to certain things? It's like, why do adults still love Disneyland? Because it's the exact thing. You, you bring them back to nostalgia. Why do you, you know, why do you do these things? A lot of times it's the experience. It, it's what it makes you feel rather than, you know, that's the necessary outcome. Um, and so, yeah, I love that. And creating, how can you, do little things to create a better experience. Uh, well, when it comes to the X factor effect, that's so. So there's nine pillars that we talk about: the customer experience, giving people magical experiences. Mm-hmm. It's one of them. And so when it comes to everything you and I do, Chris, so you've got a video marketing agency. Technically, um, the video production side of things is a commodity. Like other people can do it. Yep. Right. Now we don't like to admit that our products or services are commodities, but let's be honest. Ideas that influence a marketing book is a commodity. How many marketing books are out there? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So one of the main ways we can differentiate and break through the noise is through experience. And what's cool about experience as a differentiator is that the, experience that Chris Anderson provides through his video marketing agency is going to be completely different than the experience that anybody else creates. And the experience that I create through my interactive book box experience, well, it's the only one in existence, but um, if somebody did copy what I'm doing with this interactive book box experience, their experience would be completely different than my experience. What I'm pointing out here is that all experiences that you create inside of your business are a differentiator because you will create experiences different than everybody else will create different uh, experiences. For sure. Yeah. And I think leaning into that uniqueness and, and what you bring and doing it, the only way you do it is huge and not try to copy anyone else because it's being you and being unique, that experience is going to be different. And then always trying to you know, how can we make it better? You know, how can we make the experience better uh, and improve and innovate new ideas? Um, and so, yeah, I, I love that. And I think, you know, if people haven't gotten your book and they need to check it out and need to connect with you. Uh, so, Daniel, where can people best reach out, learn more from you uh, and get connected? Awesome. Thank you so much, Chris. So the best way that I love to start the relationship is I want to give you this experience into your hands that we've been talking about. So get it for free. You just pay shipping and handling. Go to bigideasbox.com. Put in your, you know, you'll see you'll see the box and everything. Put in your shipping address. Just pay shipping and handling. I'm going to ship out the whole experience to you. That's the main way, my, my preferred way in 2024 for us to kick off the relationship together. Go to bigideasbox.com and grab your box. Awesome. Yeah, it, it's an experience, guys, for sure. And, and you know, I'm excited to dive even deeper into it and, and finish through it. And uh, it's definitely worth it. So, um, like I said, it's sparked on our side. What can we do better to break through? So definitely check that out. Daniel, again, thank you so much for being on the Elevate Media Podcast today. Thank you so much, Chris. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Elevate Media Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. See you in the next episode.